السلام علیکم انکل وعلیکم السلام ابو کم سٹ ہیا ایم سو گلیڈ دیٹ یو آر لونگ دا اسٹوریز ابو یس انکل آئی جسٹ لو دیر اسٹوریز ان شاء اللہ آئی ٹیل یو دا اسٹوری آف حمزہ بن عبد المطلب رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ اللہ سپورٹیڈ اسلام ود دا کنورژن آف حمزہ He was strong in defending the Prophet and his companions. Hamza was unable, of course, to prevent all the harm alone, but his conversion was a shield that protected Muslims. He was the first inspiration for many people to embrace Islam. The second source of inspiration came from the conversion of Umar bin al-Khattab. Since his conversion, Hamza devoted all his life and power to Allah and his religion. The Prophet honored him with the noble title, the Lion of Allah and his Messenger. Hamza led the battle against the enemies of Muslims. The first banner that the Prophet Muhammad handed any Muslim was Hamza r.a. Hamza performed great deeds during the Battle of Badr. In the Battle of Badr, he performed a great feat which led the Muslims to defeat the Qurayshi easily. The wounded Qureshi fled from the battlefield and stumbled back to Makkah disappointed. But they were not willing to accept the defeat easily. They started to prepare the army for another war instead. The next battle was called the Battle of Ahad. The cunning Qureshi men knew that winning the battle was impossible as long as Prophet and Hamza remained in the field. They decided to choose a man who could assassinate Hamza. There was an Abyssinian slave named Vashi who possessed extraordinary skills with the spear. He could strike with his spear at distant objects very precisely. They offered him many gifts and also told him that he would have his freedom if he killed Hamza. Vashi was hesitant at first. But the thought of freedom made him accept the offer. They told that his only role in the war was to kill Hamza with his spear and nothing else. They warned him not to engage himself in anything other than Hamza, regardless of the situation in the battlefield. He was offered excellent rewards if he achieved this feat. The slave was owned by Jubair bin Maktoum. Jubair's uncle had been killed in the Battle of Badr. He was angry at the Prophet and other followers. So Jubair said to him, Kill Hamza and you will be set free. Afterwards, the Quraysh sent Vashi to Hind bint Utba, who was the wife of Abu Sufyan. The Quraysh wanted her to encourage the slave as she had lost her father, uncle, brother and son in the war. It was said that Hamza had been behind their deaths. Hind had been the most enthusiastic to escalate the war among the Quraysh. All she wanted was Hamza's death at any cost. She spent days before the battle filling the Vashi's heart with rage. She promised him that if he killed Hamza, then she promised to give her precious trinkets. Vashi's heart now yearned for the battle. He thought of his freedom, the jewelry and his mouth watered. The two armies met for the battle of Ahad. Hamza was in the middle of the battlefield, in a battle dress. Hamza was like a lion in the battlefield. He moved everywhere. It seemed like the death was at his command. 
the Muslims were about to gain victory and defeated army of Quraysh started to withdraw from fight. Then the Quraysh launched a surprise attack at the Muslims from behind. The Muslims tried to pull themselves together, picking up weapons they had put down when they saw the Quraysh withdrawing. But the attack was a violent one. When Hamza saw this, he doubled up his strength and activity. Hamza approached the Quraysh army, striking all around. In the meantime, Vashi was observing him closely, not participating in the fighting. He saw Hamza in the middle of the crowd like a huge camel. He hid behind a tree, waiting for him to come closer. When he saw that Hamza was close enough, he took his spear and aimed at Hamza's heart. And then he threw the spear. The spear penetrated him from the back and within moments, Hazrat Hamza bin Abdul Muttalib anhu died. The slave then approached his body, took his spear and slowly walked away from the battlefield. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was deeply saddened by the death of Hamza anhu. He bestowed with him the title Lion of God and the Chief of the Martyrs. It is time for me to go now. I will see you soon. Next time when I come here, I will tell you more stories. Sure, Uncle. It was a really nice story. Thanks a lot, Uncle. You're welcome, my son. May Allah bless you. Ma salama. Ma salam, Uncle Yusuf.